for my advanced games programming project I decided to do multi threading and I'm currently using three threads for my project, one for updating values, one for rendering the scene and then one which is the main thread which is basically doing everything else, for example IO. <coughs> um, the way these threads uh, communicate with each other is through a shared struct and this struct is declared inside the main thread and then the update thread and the rendering thread keep a reference to the struct so they're all able to um, listen to the changes that are being made to the struct or make changes to the struct themselves if they, if they wish. When when a thread is accessing, a, um, is accessing the struct they need to lock it with a mutex because otherwise you may get unexpected behaviour if for example the update thread is making changes to some data while the render thread tries to read this data <coughs> and yeah we basically we do not want that um, so in the second part of my tutorial you were taught how to turn your update function into a thread well have your update function run on a separate thread and if you try to drag the window you would notice that the screen would freeze but in the background the the uh, values for the particles would update so once you let go the particles would have moved from position A to position B and this is happening because like I said the updates are being made in the background but the main thread is not able to take in these changes because it's currently busy processing the repos repositioning of the window so <coughs> the main thread has to wait until this process is completed before it can take in the values that have been changed and render the particles in a new position so that's why we wanted to have a rendering function run on a separate thread as well and by doing that we're able to update the values while, current, while, while at the same time rendering them even though the main thread is basically dry, uh, re repositioning the, the window and this is basically what I wanted to achieve with my multi-threaded pro uh, multi project um, in order to be able to render from a, s a different thread though you need to release the GL context from the main thread and then activate it inside the render thread because otherwise you're unable to access the required calls for rendering. Um, another pro uh, problem I have, uh, well I had, was that because IO and reposition of the window is both happening on the main thread, you're only able to do one of them at the same time and this is because the IO is happening but basically you can only pull for events where STL has been, been initialized which is in the main thread so I've not been able to fix that but I'm, I'm sure it's possible so yeah that was my project <coughs>